Hi there, Crazy Corb again. I have a couple of stories for you. This one, first one, has to do with when I used to live in Signal Hill. It was probably 1967 or 68, probably 67. And I rented a house. It was a three-room little cabin in a cluster of cabins. And I was, you know, trying to keep things together, trying to not break the law, trying to behave, something I don't do very well. And I had put a sign, it was a bumper sticker that I had found, and I put it up on my wall on the outside of the house, uh, visible from three blocks away. It was day glow and orange on a black thing. And it said, fuck censorship. Now, I didn't think anything about it. I just, you know, something that I believed in, always have, always will, always do. And something that, uh, oh, God, what's his name? Anyway, I'll get back to that. Um, and yeah, I was sitting in the house one day smoking a joint. And there's a knock on my door. I open the door, and here's a policeman sitting there. I can see the, my smoke from my joint hitting his helmet and breaking and going up. And he goes, I'd like to speak to you outside, please. So I stepped out, shut the door behind me, and uh, he walked around the house, and I walked around behind him. He came up to that sticker. And he goes, we have a problem with this sticker. You can see it from three blocks away. It's obscene. You need to take it down. And I said, you're censoring my fuck censorship sticker? And he goes, either that or I search your house. Which would you prefer that I do? So I reached up and tore the the uh, fuck off and left censorship. And he goes, yeah, take it all off. So I reached back up and took the rest of it off. And he goes, thank you. And he walked away. I go back up into my house. I sit down and I think about it. And you know, Lenny Bruce, even though he died of a drug overdose before his case was heard in the Supreme Court because the state had filmed him on stage giving a monologue. Uh, he was a stand-up comedian. Um, and he used the word fuck a lot, um, as many people do. Supreme Court, even though he was dead, and normally when you die, your case dies before the Supreme Court. But because it had been recorded, they decided to hear the case. We had a good Supreme Court back then. And they ruled that using the word fuck is a constitutional right. If you want to stand in the street corner and say fuck, all day long, you're allowed to do that. And they went further. They said, you know, not only is this a word that is protected by free speech, but when you're a government agent, that word often is used against you. And you don't have the right to be offended by it. Because when you're working for the government, you give up certain rights. Among the rights you give up, is the right to be offended when somebody takes offense at what you say or do. So that made it legal for you to flip off the police when they drive by. For you, to, when a cop tells you, hey, you know, I want to see your ID, you have the right to say, you know, go fuck yourself. You're not going to see my ID. I don't have to identify myself to you. Am I suspected of a crime? And that's an interesting thing to me. Uh, partially because I have used the word fuck in my language since I was 16. 
Mostly I did it to piss off my parents, to piss off other adults. And I've flipped people off right and left. You know, I don't have a problem with that. And I tend to try to explain to people why. It's not like I can't think of another word to use instead of fuck. The fact is, fuck stands for a lot of things. It means a lot of things. It means every sexual intercourse, of course. But beyond that, it means to te- when you're telling somebody, hey, fuck you, you're not saying, I want to have sexual intercourse with you. What you're saying is, go fuck yourself. Um, maybe that's a moot point to some people, but not to me. It's not a moot point at all because I firmly believe in my right to say whatever the hell I want. And if someone doesn't like it, don't listen. If I write something and it bothers you, stop reading. Don't tell me I can't write it. Of course I can write it. I'm a free citizen. The old racist White boy shit was free white and 21. Well, look, yes, I'm white, but I'm not a racist. And I can't say I'm free black and 21 because I'm not black. So when I say that, it doesn't mean that only the whites are free. We're all free in this country. Every one of us. It doesn't matter if you're black, green, yellow, blue. None of that makes any difference gay, straight, none of that makes any difference. The fact is, we're all people. We all have our own ups and downs and sideways trips. We all have our own way of doing things, our own way of thinking, our own way of trying to do things. What it comes down to, and this is pretty basic, what it comes down to is you can just do whatever the fuck you want. So if my using the word fuck bothers you, I'm really fucking sorry about that. But I'm fucking not going to stop using the word fuck. It means something to me. And that by itself is enough grounds for me to use it. Country Joe McDonald, Country Joe and the Fish, a band in, from the 60s, um, he actually did get arrested and drug off stage for saying the word fuck in Hawaii, a, a war protest song. Uh, he tied his case to Lenny Bruce, but Lenny Bruce came before him. So, but he got his case in. Country Joe is now an attorney in San Francisco, a good attorney. And he made it very plain when he sang his song why fuck was in there. Because he was protesting the war in Vietnam. A lot of good things happened from the war in Vietnam, but a lot of bad things happened because of the war in Vietnam. Uh, the hippies, that was their reveling thing, fighting that war, stopping that war. It took years. Fighting, people being shot and killed in the streets, rioting burning things up, all kinds of things. But we won. They stopped the war. They stopped the draft. You still have to register, but they can't draft you. That means something. It means a lot. It means your fucking life because a lot of people died in Vietnam who didn't need to die. Many of my friends, many people I never even heard of, never will hear of, their names are all on a wall traveling around this country. We owe them something. And what we owe them, among other things, is to say fuck once in a while and mean it. So, Have a nice fucking day. Enjoy the fuck out of yourselves. And use your language as your right. Because it is your right. 
And for that, subscribe, like if you like, or whatever. But I need subscribers. Subscribe, please.